Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic cactus power day. Now today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to remove the annoying scale insect from a puncher cacti, commonly known as the prickly pear cacti. And this one here is our puncher vulgaris. We have a few of these that we have in the polyton in the yard. And this is that sort of annoying little sort of scaly little white, whitey sort of um, browny coloured little scabs all over. Now I just want to mention that this is different to natural sort of corking that sometimes prickly pear puncher cacti get as they age they can sometimes get sort of like scabby corking and it sometimes comes in little circles but this is definitely scale because the reason how I know is you can see close up there there's a, always a little little outer circle to it and they're raised bumps uh, where the little scale insect, insect lives inside. Now the reason why I don't like to use sort of normal type of uh, insecticide sprays and things is because they have this scale on them it's very hard to get rid of if you just spray them with normal bug sprays and the, I find that the rubbing alcohol works very well at dissolving and mel melting the shells and therefore getting rid of the insects and then once I've completely removed it all then I keep checking every few days to make sure there's no signs of it coming back. What you can also do as well is apply neem oil afterwards as well as a bit of a, pre a prevention of, to stop them coming back again. But I usually find with, with the puncher cacti, especially these types that are not very full of glow kids, I can touch this one, it's pretty easy to remove with the, the rubbing alcohol on its own. And this is what I've got here, isopropyl alcohol commonly known as rubbing alcohol it's 99.9% .9 almost 100% strength but you can use any one if it's 70% strength that's good as well I only really tend to dilute this down if I'm using it on sen sensitive type of plants such as some of the succulents with the majority of cacti I find it's pretty much safe to use um, as long as it's not some of the more delicate species and I dilute it with water in this case with this a puncher no problem there little bowl I'm going to be putting the alcohol into two little brushes here one a little small one to get in between the little parts that I can't reach with a bigger brush and a larger brush there. I'm going to soak it and then rub it off. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. And I just want to mention I've made a video on how to remove scale on cactus plants. And I've done this before in the past. And I'll include that video up above, down below in the video description and also at the end screen of this video. So check that out as well if you want a bit more um, info on uh, treating scale. So here we go. Now, what we need to do is put a bit of rubbing alcohol into a little bowl, such as this here. Roll it, roll the uh, brush so it's completely covered in the, the rubbing alcohol. And then you want to get to work. So probably start maybe the bottom here and then gently rubbing it off. As I say, the rubbing alcohol actually melts the, uh, the scales. As you can see, it comes away there. I'm going to do a little bit just to show you what to do should you have this on your um, a puncher prickly pear cacti or any cactus in general just rub it off on here melts look how easy it comes away very good you see all the scale dead scales there and that's rub it on there gives it a good uh, clean up and that, as I say it kills the scale on contact dissolves the shells kills it on contact and I, I love to use neem oil and other type of natural ways to get rid of insect pests normally but as I say neem oil isn't if I was to use neem oil on this it would just go straight onto the it wouldn't really remove the scales it's okay to use as a, as a prevention afterwards to stop them from coming back but you want to get rid of the scales first so using the the rubbing alcohol does this and then what I'm going to do then I'll show you what it's like when it's all done as you can see this is it all now very uh, full of scale I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all been cleaned off doing the fruit as well this is one of the um, the fruits filled with uh, seeds be ready to harvest the seeds from this soon but I uh, also want to make sure I completely remove all the scale off this too There you go, that's it all cleaned up. I'm going to be going over this 
again I'd let this to dry the rubbing alcohol and going over it again just to make sure that there's no little ones as you can see there left and completely done and then I'm going to repeat it again in another couple of days and another couple of days as well just to make sure that all the scale has gone but that's all you have to do bit of the uh, rubbing alcohol and you can get this I've, this is one I've got from Amazon but you can get it in uh, chemist drug stores quite easily enough for quite a good price I think it's good for using around the home as well has a multiple of uses and I just want to mention this sca this scabbiness here is just part of the natural aging of this um, a puncher prickly pear that's quite normal that's not part of the scale but um, obviously these tiny little things here is what is so as I'm saying you may have to go over it multiple times to make sure that it's all all gone and keep changing the um, rubbing alcohol in the bowl as well and uh, cleaning the brush so thanks so much for watching guys and for lots more tips and tricks on you can how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents then please do subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at, D at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents, then do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.